My friends, a few weeks ago, I shared with you the privilege I had to be a pilgrim on our diocesan pilgrimage, which explored many of the sacred cities of Italy. We visit many of the tombs of the saints, women and men who, through their inspiration and faith, changed the face of the church. And it was during that pilgrimage, which was not easy, walking 46 miles and traveling in a bus 1,800 kilometers, really cost a lot. Did become very powerfully aware for all of us that the pilgrimage we were on was just a foreshadowing of the real pilgrimage that we are on, which is to heaven. And the sacrifices involved, the moments of prayer and grace, the times of fraternity and friendship, and the quiet silence that we all experienced really mimic our ordinary life. Its purpose was to encourage us to continue our daily pilgrimage. And the same is true for you. For many times we get wrapped up in the ordinary obligations we have, and rightfully so. But our life is going somewhere. In Catholic faith, we know that at a time, a day, a place unknown to us, we will hand our entire life back to God. And in judgment, He will see what it is we offer. He is a merciful God, but He is also a just God. And many of us, perhaps all of us, will die in some sense still sinners, either in our own sins or still responsible for the effects of our sins. But nonetheless, we will be called to account for everything we have done. We'll be called to account for our sinfulness and in those opportunities that we have missed to be people of charity and mercy. So we need to keep our eyes fixed on heaven. That is where the fullness of life will be ours. And to take seriously discipleship, to seek repentance, to seek the sacrament of reconciliation, to grow in charity and fraternity. Because as the Lord reminds us, we do not know the day or the hour when we will stand in judgment. And whenever that day comes, may we be ready to hear the words, Come, my blessed, inherit the kingdom which has been prepared for you from the foundation of the world.